Bruce Resnick, and I'm the executive director of San Diego Coast Keeper. And Coast Keeper is the largest organization here in San Diego, nonprofit, uh, watchdog organization fighting to protect uh, San Diego's water resources, our coastal uh, waters and inland waterways. I'm here today to talk about indirect potable reuse, which is a, a subject that's very near and dear to uh, our heart at Coast Keeper. Uh, it's better known probably to the public as toilet to tap, but what it really is is just reclaiming water, wastewater that would otherwise be dumped out into the Pacific Ocean, harming our ocean environment, um, treating that to extremely high levels, actually much more uh, protective than our, our current water supplies, uh, and then reclaiming that, augmenting our local water supplies, augmenting our local reservoirs. Um, at Coast Keeper, we really do believe uh, in the mantra of reduce, reuse, and recycle. And, and for San Diegans, and, and of course this is a region that is um, heavily dependent on imported water. We import our wa uh, over 80% of our water from the Colorado River and the San Joaquin Delta, uh, and that has really devastating impacts on the environment and the ecosystems of those waterways. Uh, it takes a lot of energy. 5% um, of the state's energy usage is just pumping water from north to south. Um, and, and of course, it makes uh, San Diego not a water secure city. We don't even have enough water to, to supply for our own residents. So in figuring out how to address that situation, um, you know, the first strategy, again, in the, the reduce, reuse, recycle mantra is, you know, conservation and water efficiency. It's the cheapest, most cost effective, most environmentally protective, most energy friendly way uh, to enhance our supplies. And every San Diegan should be uh, leading the charge on, on reduction. Um, secondly is, of course, reuse. And, and you, you hear more and more about gray water systems, uh, rain barrels, rainwater harvesting, that people can take the water that, that otherwise would be wasted from their home and apply it to their lawns or irrigation or other uses. Um, but the third strategy, uh, and one that we think offers a lot of promise, is reclaiming water. As I mentioned, just recycling uh, wastewater that would otherwise be going into the ocean, harming our ocean environment, uh, and reusing that for our drinking water supplies. And you know, we recognize, uh, and a lot of people don't even like to use the term toilet to tap. It's not an accurate uh, term. In fact, if you wanted to talk about what it would be, it would be toilet toilet to treatment to more treatment to more treatment to reservoir to more treatment and then to tap um, but it's it's a term that's out there it's one that we have to take head on but what i want to let folks know is we already drink toilet to tap you know the colorado river people like to think of it as this pristine waterway there's more than 230 um, sewage discharges that go into the colorado river from cities throughout the southwest united states there's over 400 million gallons of sewage you have agricultural runoff, chemical plants, industrial discharges, over a billion gallons uh, of, of other types of runoff that go into uh, the Colorado River. You know, as a matter of fact, one of the cities that feeds into that is Las Vegas. So I like to say what happens in Vegas doesn't stay in Vegas. We actually drink it here in San Diego. And the reality is we don't treat it even to the level that we're talking about with indirect potable reuse, which is a, a much more technical and accurate term, although not as understood by the public, which is something we're trying to change here. Um, so the reality is if we actually take control of our own uh, water uh, and, and reclaim our wastewater, we can do a much better job. We can treat it to a much higher standard. It's frankly safer and healthier than any other uh, water supply that we have currently uh, locally here in San Diego. It's a very cost-effective strategy, very energy efficient. It's about half the cost and half the energy of desalination uh, or pumping water down from Northern California through the Colorado River. Uh, and like I said, it's, it's just a safe, healthy, uh, uh, and reliable way for San Diego to augment our local water supplies.